Hi, let's try to do some practice on simple harmonic motion. Before that, let's quickly go through the definition of simple harmonic motion first. So one thing that we should know is uh, mathematically, it is A proportional to negative X. X is being the displacement from the equilibrium. At the same time, the period and amplitude are always constant. Uh, one thing we also know is the period is independent of amplitude. So whatever amplitude that you have, the period is always the same. For displacement, velocity, and acceleration, time graph, they are in either sine or cosine, so periodic, basically. I think you're good to go now, so please pause the video and try out this question. A few moments later. Okay, the first graph you can see, this is a displacement time graph, and so if you try to look at the period, you can see that it's not being constant. So this is the reason that you can reject the idea that it is being SHM. So the answer is not SHM for sure. And for the second graph, uh, it will be yes, because uh, like we said, A proportional to negative X. And so this is the graph that you will produce when displacement is being positive, A is being negative. So these are negative, obviously. And while displacement is being negative, so negative of negative become, become positive for acceleration. So uh, that's why you will see a line that is like this. Or if you're good at mathematics, then you know this is A or Y in the you know XY axis, Y equal to negative KX. So this is the line of best fit that you should yield in the graph. For graph three, the answer is no as well. Uh, one thing that you can see is if you try to put, you know, close attention to the amplitude, it is shrinking. Okay, so it's not very obvious, but then uh, you can still see there is still energy loss. So that means it is a damped motion. All right, damped means there is friction basically. So uh, if you are interested, you can go and check out option B in IB physics or you can simply search this on Google. Okay, next question. Uh, you are given the displacement time graph. Okay, this is very important. And it's set, it is a displacement blah, 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 from a fixed equilibrium position uh, performing SHM. So you already know it's SHM. It's set, uh, determine the period of the motion. So very simple stuff. You should know from IGCSE as well. Just look at the same position. So I'll pick the position which is easy to see so I'll usually pick the peak so you can see this is 0 0.2 second next uh, try to draw on the graph that velocity is 0 okay so this is something that we have to recall from what we learned uh, from physics so since velocity according to very basic fundamental definition it is dx over dt all right, change of displacement over time. And so uh, in this graph, then you will be looking at the slope of it. So since you want to find it is not, it is zero, that means this is um, horizontal. So this is obviously when you are at here. Okay, I'll, I'll label all of them, even though the question asks you to do just one. All right, and if you can, you, could, you should also do all of them as well. Okay, here and here. The other thing that you can also do, if you don't want to think this way, is by recalling our simulation. That is uh, having, you know, the spring and then go, like if you pull it down and then try to let it go and then you will find out the mass will have zero velocity when you are reaching the two limit. So say here is the equilibrium point and then your mass will kind of oscillate with a certain amplitude, right? So when you're at this two extreme point, the lower point and higher point, then you would have the velocity to be zero because this is a turning point uh, for this object. And whenever you have turning point, the velocity suppose, you know, normally will be zero. For example, like if I have an object, just like a projectile motion or simply, um, you know, free falling, if you try to flow something, the point when it starts to come back down, which is the turning point, is when you have zero velocity. So it's the same idea here. So that's why um, 
it will be the turning point, you know, of the displacement for, you know, velocity to be zero. Okay, next, it asks you the velocity is positive and also being the largest magnitude. So, uh, one thing that, again, recall from the definition here, then that means you want to find the slope with the greatest magnitude. So, uh, if you just want to find greatest magnitude without knowing positive and negative, then obviously you got here, 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 and here, when x equal to zero because again back to the simulation that experiment when the block is at the middle which is equilibrium point it is when it moves the quickest so here of course is not all of them because you only want to find the positive so obviously you have to look at the positive positive slope which is this one and this one i think yeah that's all so label it as v for number three it asks you to determine the point where acceleration is positive with the largest magnitude. So I guess one thing that you should recall is like we said, A proportional to negative X. So that means when acceleration is positive, then X will be negative, right? Because that's the relationship that they have. At the same time, in terms of magnitude, when X, when you like, think of the absolute value, when this is at the largest magnitude, A is also at the largest magnitude. So that means eventually you have to look at X, which is negative and maximum in the graph. So that is uh, talking about this point. It's going to overlap, but that's fine. And label them as A. So that's why I use different color. And if you could use different color for your notes as well, right? Like after a year when you come back and visit this, you will thank yourself now.